Mom, can you hurry up? Seriously? It's not that heavy. Hello. Can I start you two off with something to drink? Uh, yes, we will both have some water. Sounds good. Would you like a bit more time to look at the menu? Yes, please. Nope, we are ready. I will have the garden salad. Fantastic choice. And for you, ma'am? I don't know. Could we have a little more time? I told you, I don't have a lot of time. Can you please just pick something? I'm starving. Oh, it's really okay. I can just come back whenever you're ready. Fine. Put my order in in the meantime. I'm not gonna wait just because she can't decide what she wants to eat. Sure, right away. I'll be right back with those waters. <clears throat> uh, I I'm sorry, I don't mean to interrupt, but the pasta here is delicious. My mom used to order it all the time. Uh, thanks. But nobody asked you. Honey? All right, here the waters for you. There you go. I'll be right back with that salad. There you go again, always making a mess. I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to. This is why I can never take you anywhere. I don't have time to clean up after you. Bathroom, clean yourself up. It's not a big deal. I can help clean it up. Seriously? It's not your mess. Just go back to your table. Look, I just think you should treat your mom better. <laughs> oh, really? And what makes you say that? You know, why don't you go spend some time with your own mother? Well, I wish I could. The last time I saw my mom was over dinner. I didn't want to go. But she said she had something important to tell me. You see, at the restaurant, my mom struggled to pull out her chair. I sat there and rolled my eyes not even caring to help her. And then she took forever to order her food. I got so impatient and just ordered without her. And then she made this huge mess. I got so upset and yelled at her. And then I made her go clean herself up. And that was the last time I saw my mom. It turned out she wanted to have dinner to tell me she had cancer. <laughs> so you see, I would do anything to help my mom with a chair or clean up her mess. So please, don't take your mom for granted. I'm so sorry about your mom. I can't believe how bad I've been treating mine. It's okay. I know you'll do the right thing. Mom? I'm so sorry, honey. I didn't mean to embarrass you. No, Mom. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have taken you for granted. You are my mom and I love you. I love you too. Let me help you with your chair.
Thanks a lot, Dad. Shopping for my birthday was a total disaster. What happened, sweetheart? I tried to buy two pairs of Chanel shoes, but your credit card got declined. So, what's in the bag? I could only buy one. Do you know how embarrassing that was for me? I'm so sorry, honey. I thought there'd be more in the card for you to use. Well, there wasn't. And since your card doesn't work, I need cash to pay for dinner tonight with my friends. Sure, sweetheart. Let me see what I have. There you go. 60, 85, 86. That's it? Mi amor, that's a lot of money. You're joking, right? How am I supposed to have a nice dinner with $86? I know. I wish I could give you more. But money's been a little tight lately. You expect me to believe that? You're just being cheap. This is turning out to be the worst birthday ever. Wait. I have something that will make you feel better. Here. Happy birthday, sweetheart. Oh my gosh. You call me the iPhone 11? <laughs> I know how much you wanted one. Wait. This is only 64 gigs. My iPhone 10 is 256 gigs. How am I supposed to store all my pics on this? I'm so sorry, honey. But the other one was a couple hundred dollars more. That's all I could afford. Yeah, right. You know what? It's obvious you don't care about me or my birthday. Thanks for ruining everything, Dad. Carla! You okay, honey? No. Why does he have to be so cheap? I can't believe he got me the 64 gigs. He's not being cheap, honey. I don't think you realize just how much your dad sacrifices for you. Sacrifices? What are you talking about? He always tries to put your happiness first, even if it means putting his needs second. You see, while you complain about not being able to buy two pairs of shoes, have you ever looked at your dad's shoes? He has holes in them because he won't spend any money on himself. He only thinks about you. And while you're upset about having $86 to spend on dinner, have you ever seen what your dad eats? He has the same food at home every day just to save money so you can eat whatever you want. And well, you're not happy with the brand new phone you got. Have you ever noticed what phone your dad has? He's had the same phone for years because he'd rather buy you a brand new one instead. So you see, your dad sacrifices his own happiness just to make you happy. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I never noticed these things. And how selfish I've been. I feel so bad for how I've treated him. Hey, honey. I found six more dollars you can use at dinner tonight. I'm sorry it's not much. No, Dad. I'm the one that's sorry. I can't believe how much you sacrificed for me. Just to make me happy. 
thank you for everything you do for me. Oh, you're very welcome, sweetheart. And actually, I want you to have this. What? No. I got that for you. I know, but you need it more than I do. And here's your $86 back. Honestly, I'd rather spend my birthday at home. I love you so much, sweetheart. I love you too. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Happy <Yay>. birthday. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Of course. Wait. Is this strawberry? Yeah, why? Is something wrong? I told you I wanted red velvet. <sighs> I'm so sorry, honey. I tried, but the bakery didn't have any left. So I got you your second favorite instead. Why would I want to eat my second favorite today of all days? <sighs> Forget it. I guess I just won't be eating any cake on my birthday. <sighs> Gosh, now I feel terrible. Excuse me. Hi, how can I help you? Uh, by chance, do you guys happen to have any, uh... I said uh, forget it, Dad. I don't want cake anymore. Okay, um... Never mind. Thank you. Sure. Well, I know what'll make you feel better. Here you go! <laughs> A gift? Now this is more like it. And don't worry, it's just one of them. I didn't forget about what you really wanted. This better be good. iPhone 12? I know you wanted the new one, so... Wait, what color is this? You got me the black one. I told you I wanted the white one. I, I know, honey, but they were all sold out. And uh, besides, when you, when you put a case on it, you won't even be able to... And it's this. only 128 gigs? My 11 is 256. How am I supposed to move all my photos? D d don't worry. I, the, the guy at the store said you could store them in the cloud. <sighs> you ready to go? Yeah, let's go. This is supposed to be my sweet 16, and you're totally ruining it, Dad. I don't want this. I'll get it. Just leave it on the ground. My dad got me the wrong phone on my birthday. Can you believe it? Well, there's a lot of people that don't get anything for their birthday. So you should be grateful for what you have. Whatever. No one cares about your opinion. I'll take that. Thank you very much. You know, honey, she does have a point. A lot of kids would be very thankful to have this. Yeah, right. Any kid who got that would be mad too. So seriously, where's my real present? I was hoping to give that to you a little later. Why? Don't tell me you messed that up too. No, no, I, I got you what you wanted. Um, I guess you can have it now. Come on, let's go. Can you watch this for me? Make sure no one takes it. Yeah, sure. Happy birthday. Thanks. It's my daughter's birthday too. Well, hopefully your birthday's going better than mine. Uh, I I'm sorry about that, and happy birthday. Well, where is it? <laughs> there it is. <laughs> I've been so excited to give this to you. Is that a... Yep. A brand new 2021 Porsche Cayenne SUV. I know how badly you've been wanting a new car. Listen, it's got 543 horsepower, leather seats, and it's... Black! I can't believe you got me a black car! I, I don't understand. I, I thought you really wanted a Porsche. Yeah, a red Porsche, not a black one. I, I'm sorry, honey. I, they didn't have a red one. I, but it's still a brand new car. I mean, shouldn't you be grateful for that? I would have been grateful if you got me the color I wanted. Not this one. Oh. Hey, you know what? I have a guy that can wrap it and make it red. 
I'll give him a call. At most, it'll take about a week, okay? You just don't get it. Why do you think I wore a red dress today? I had a whole rouge-themed photo shoot planned for my Insta to match my car, and now I won't even get to post a pic on my birthday. <sighs> I, I didn't know that. Well, maybe we could get you a black dress. No. First you get me the wrong cake, then you get me the wrong phone, and now you get me the wrong car? <sighs> Seriously, you're like the worst dad in the world. <sighs> Honey, Come on, don't be like that. Just leave me alone. I'll call an Uber home. I can't believe him. There you go. Happy birthday. No. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Happy birthday again, sweetheart. <laughs> <laughs> it looks so delicious. I'm sorry I couldn't buy you an entire birthday cake. And, and I'm sorry they only had chocolate here, right? I know strawberry's your favorite. Dad, stop. I'm grateful to have any cake at all. Thank you so much. Mm. It's so good. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Here, try a piece. <laughs> okay. Mm. Mm. It's so good. Yeah, it is. <laughs> mm. And don't think. I forgot to get you a gift. Dad, I told you I didn't want anything for my birthday. I know it's not much. I just, after I lost my job, um, I know things have been tough, but uh, I wanted to get you something. The food and cake are more than enough. And you should be saving your money. <laughs> just. A phone? I'm really sorry, it's just a prepaid phone. And I. I couldn't get you an iPhone. Are you kidding? I'm so lucky to have this phone. Seriously, this is too much. You should take it back. No, 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 I want you to have it. Okay, so please, just take it. I'm just sorry that it, that I couldn't get you something better. I just feel like a terrible father. Dad, there's so many people that don't get anything for their birthday. I'm so grateful for what I have. And for the record, you're the best dad in the world. I love you so much, honey. I love you too. Here, have another piece. Okay. <laughs> hey, hi, honey. I, I, I spoke to my guy, and he said he's gonna try really hard to have it wrapped red by- It's okay, my... dad. You don't need to wrap it. I don't? But I feel terrible. I, I, I never realized how important having it read was to you. I, I'm really sorry. No. You don't need to say sorry. I'm the one that should be apologizing. I don't understand. Where's all this coming from? I just realized something. A lot of people don't get anything on their birthday. I should have been a lot more grateful for everything that you got me. I'm really sorry. Can you please forgive me? Of course, honey. I'm so proud of you. Are you sure you don't want me to change the color? No, you got me a Porsche. Like, are you serious? <laughs> I'm so, so grateful. I love you so much, Dad. I love you too. Hey, um, what about this iPhone? Do you still want to keep it or? Actually, I have a better idea. Come on. Hey. I just wanted to say I'm sorry about the way I acted earlier and for not wishing you a happy birthday. Oh, it's all right. Actually, I wanted to give you something. Oh. I saw the phone you got earlier and I wanted to give you this. What? Really? Yeah, I'm happy with my iPhone 11. Wow. Actually, I like the phone my dad got me. Think so. Are you sure? This is like a thousand dollar phone. Yeah, I'm sure. 
Okay, well, I heard you like strawberry cake. Would you guys at least come and have some birthday cake with us? <laughs> yeah, sure, we'd love to. <gasps> Great. This is my dad, by the way. He's also the best dad in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Do you girls mind if I sit with you? Uh, uh, with that outfit? Yeah, we mind. Heather, I am so, so sorry. There's no money on your account. Oh, I have to take this, but you can have this free lunch, okay? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, how embarrassing. Your family's so poor, you have to eat that nasty free meal. <laughs> I could never. How sad. Ugh. Well, um, it's... It's not that bad. Well, we get our lunches made by our family's personal chefs. <laughs> Have fun eating your crappy free meal, homeless Heather. <laughs> homeless Heather! <laughs> Bye. Aw, <laughs> did you drop your nickel? Can you please get off of it? I need it for the bus. Ew, I can't believe you're so broke you have to take public transportation. <laughs> That's disgusting. So gross. See that car over there? That's my mom's brand new Tesla. And that's just one of our cars. That's good for you, Becky. I'd offer you a ride, but I wouldn't want to dirty up the car having you in it. <laughs> Gotta go. My mom's taking me shopping at Gucci. Have fun riding the bus. Hey, watch where you're going. I'm sorry. Wow, you again. Wait, don't tell me you shop at the thrift store. Well, yeah. I had to buy some new clothes for school. That is so gross. First you eat the nasty school lunch, then you ride the bus, and now you buy other people's used clothes. Ugh, gosh, how poor are you? Becky, I can't believe you just said that to her. What? I'm just telling the truth, Mom. Young lady, you should never make fun of other people. Who cares? It's just homeless Heather. Everyone makes fun of her. How would you feel if someone made fun of you? You shouldn't judge people until you've walked in their shoes. Well, luckily, we're rich, and I won't ever have to worry about that. <laughs> See, that's where you're wrong. You may come from a family with money, but that is not how we treat other people. Starting tomorrow, no more catered lunches. You can have the school lunch. No more Tesla pickups. You can catch the bus. And no more designer shopping. You can shop at the thrift store. But, but Mom, no, you can't do that. You have no choice, young lady. Becky can't believe what just happened. The next day, Becky doesn't have the chef-made food she usually eats. When she tries to sit down at the table with her friends, they make fun of her and don't even let her sit with them. Becky is devastated. And after school, Becky's mom doesn't pick her up in the Tesla. Instead, she has to wait for the bus. Her friends happen to walk by and tease her. Becky is so humiliated. And finally, Becky isn't able to shop at the designer store. Now she has to shop at the thrift store. Her friends see her as she walks out and laugh at her. She's so embarrassed and runs away in tears. After a while, Becky starts to understand what it feels like to get made fun of for not having much. <laughs> Enjoy your free lunch, broke Becky. Let's go. We wouldn't want anyone thinking we're friends with someone like her. 
<laughs> Don't worry, I'll sit with you. Ever? But why are you being nice to me? Because I know how it feels when people are mean to you. Look, I'm really sorry for making fun of you all those times. I was wrong. I guess you never really know what someone's going through unless you experience it yourself. Can you please forgive me? Of course. <laughs> hey, you think we could maybe catch the bus and go thrift shopping together later? Yeah, I like that. Derek, that is not how we treat people. Oh, he's a delivery driver. I mean, how hard is it to get a simple order right? Pizza's frozen Probably cold. It wasn't even his fault. I got a flat on the way over here. So I took an Uber here to make sure it's nice and warm. 